Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopefully elect out there pushing his word and truth, sincerity, and indeed. Your brother Kapat from the Great Millstone Chicago branch coming at you with another quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. Going to be lambacking off the uh, the beloved elder Yashua Wamba here. All right. Rebuking this guy, Ronald Dalton, the uh, producer of the controversial Hebrews to Negroes uh, documentary. And uh, through the spirit, all right, the, hey, the spirit, hey, amen, the elder, he brought great clarification as to why. This documentary is still up on Amazon as to why Jeff Bezos hasn't been rebuked, uh, uh, canceled. All right. As to why the small hatters have, haven't, uh, you know, raised hell against him. As to why this guy, Ronald Dalton, is still making money off this. All right. As well as Jeff Bezos. All right. The reason why is this documentary, though, it sheds a little bit of light as far as who we are as the people of Israel. All right. Well, the southern kingdom, that is. All right. This guy, his documentary goes off on a lot of things. It goes off on who Esau Edom really is. All right. And it spreads a lot of uh, it spreads a lot of uh, heresy. All right. As we're about to get into this guy, he denies the power of the Lord. All right. So we're going to get right into it. End time centered Israelite <coughs> doctrines or teachings. Uh, such as the chariots of God, aka the UFOs, are going to come and get us, black people. And I see Israelites that are posting videos about UFOs and spaceships coming to get the Israelites, to get black people. And it's really, it's really disheartening and sad to see that we have equated the Hebrew word for chariots and horses to UFO ships. <laughs> so we know in ancient Egypt that the horses uh, were the ones that pulled the chariots. There's a Hebrew word for horse, there's a Hebrew word for chariot. However, when we look at various scriptures, such as Isaiah 66 and Revelation chapter 19, we tend to now think that Christ and his angels, his army, is going to be coming back as an as an armada, armada of spaceships, spaceships, not horses, not chariots being pulled by the horses. You know, if that's what the Hebrew word says. No, we just changed the whole meaning and understanding of the word chariot and horses into equate it to a Star Trek spaceship or the Klingon spaceship. So maybe Christ is gonna be inside a spaceship and his angels that's gonna be following behind him in the book of Revelation chapter 19, they're also gonna be in spaceships. Right, and so as you can see, heresy. This guy, he doesn't have it. Uh, you know, like the elder Yashawamba says, maybe he's just flat out ignorant. I really think, I just think this guy's set up. I really do. OK, he's set up to spread heresy amongst Israel. And when you read in the scriptures, OK, these things are spiritually discerned. There's context, which means the understanding of what something is talking about within the text. And then there's spiritual discernment. All right. But at the end of the day, this thing is all about the elect. OK, whoever is of the elect, they're going to come across his video due to the controversy. And then the Lord is going to eventually segue them to the truth, to the men of GMS and the men that preach like doctrine. At the end of the day, like the scriptures say, uh, uh, matter of fact, I'm a, well, I'll just quote it. It says, uh, the, the, hey, the ways of the Lord, they're plain unto the holy ones. All right. But they're stumbling blocks unto the wicked. This understanding, these proverbs. OK. At the yes, you cannot put UFO all right. Or uh, unidentified aerial phenomena, what Esau likes to call them. You cannot replace that every time you see chariot like like fucking duh, duh. Sometimes when the Bible says chariot, it's actually talking about an old school horse. 
All right. And a chariot car uh, ch carrying a chariot. OK, with a man on the back riding a chariot. OK, like like in ancient Israel. Or when it talks about chariots, when it talks about a flying roll in the book of Ezekiel. Yes, it is talking about a so-called UFO. All right. But I'm gonna get this real quick. This is the book of Sirach 20 and 24. A lie is a foul blot in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. And this guy, uh, uh, Ronald Dalton, he's untaught. He doesn't have it. Like I said, he's on that black power trip, which that doctrine is, is fucking off. OK. He's calling uh, uh, the white man Japheth. That doctrine is completely off. All right. And here it is. He's discrediting. All right, the the uh, the majesty of the Lord. Like the elder Yashawamba said, hey, here it is. Uh, Esau has his his vehicles. Esau has his flying vehicles. The Lord can't have none. Come on, man. Why in the hell you think Esau would be spending billions of dollars on a space force? He's gonna fulfill the scriptures in Second Ezra, the thirteenth chapter. The whole world is gonna fight against the Lord, man. The whole world in the midst of fighting each other in the World War Three, they're going to stop. They're going to have to join forces and try to fight against the Lord. And then they're going to be broken without hand. Thus said the Bible. But see, this guy, like I said, he's he's just. <laughs> he just don't got it. All right. I really believe he's set up or maybe he is just this. This what Dave Chappelle say. Maybe he is this observably stupid. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm just I'm just going to be flat out and blunt. OK, unfiltered. These these niggas ain't got it, man. All right. Let's get into the scriptures. This is the book of Acts, chapter one, and I'll start at nine. All right. Well, I'll start at eight. All right, because what they're asking, hey, when the Lord made his return, they were asking, OK, uh, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel now? OK. Because what the prophecy said, what the Lord would 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 uh, give up his life. All right. For the nation. And then he would come back and restore the kingdom. So when they when the apostles, when they saw you, I was shy. All right. They was thinking, all right, it's go time now. Right. This is Acts one and seven. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father have put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that. The Holy Spirit has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Right. And this is where we're at now. Two thousand years later, this word has gone out throughout all the four corners of the earth. All right. Verse nine. Right. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. OK, so is this just talking about a regular cloud? He just jumped into a goddamn cloud. No, this is talking about a so-called UFO. All right. A, a, a spaceship. Yes. It says verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up. So they're walking. They're watching the Lord ascend up into heaven into this vehicle. It said. Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. So there's two angels, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahushai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So what are they saying? They're saying he at the same way you saw him leave. That's the same way he's going to return in the sky in a aerial vehicle okay that defies all the laws of gravity see these these, these vehicles all right these ufos hey amen they move by the spirit they're not bound by the laws of physics that's why they can do all the wild shit that they can do this technology is from god <laughs> all right this is the technology that Esau, hey, he, he's going to be scared as hell, but yet durst fight. Again, pursuing back to Second Ezra's, the 13th chapter. I'm not going to go into that. Y'all can go into it for yourselves, man. All right, but this, this Ronald Dalton guy, he's off. He ain't got it. How the hell else are we supposed to get out of here, man? Okay, you denying the power of the Lord, nigga. 
you sowing an evil heart of unbelief, man. And the Lord going to deal with you for that. Lest you repent, open your stupid ass eyes, man, and get with the program. I'm tired of you niggas, man. This is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 17. Salaki, if I'm being emotional, man, I get, I just, I get tired of dumb niggas. It's like niggas that ain't got it, niggas that ain't got it, they got the most to say. <laughs> it's crazy. This is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 17. All right. It says, I'll start at 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. So the Lord is coming back. Okay, and he's going to descend. He's going to come down, right? With the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead and Yahweh Shai shall rise first. So that's going to be, a, man, a very scary yet magnificent sight, man. Okay, because what? The Lord is getting ready to come down and set up the kingdom. He's going to rebuke all these other kingdoms, all right? Beat them to powder. And he's going to set up the kingdom of heaven on earth, all right? With great violence, though. See? Verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. In the air, Craig. Okay? The only thing that can do that is, is a aerial vehicle. Okay? That has abilities that surpass human understanding. Okay? That's called divine intervention. That's the only way we're getting up out of here. We're going to be caught up in a ship, a father ship, right? And it says, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, okay? This is why Esau, he makes all those sci-fi movies, like Independence Day, you know? Uh, uh, um, I think it's called, uh, the Fuck. I forget the one with Tom Cruise. All right. There's a couple others, man. All right. But mainly Independence Day, man. Y'all, hey, there's so many others. All right. District nine, you know that what? There's going to be some type of otherworldly invasion. All right. And that's really going to be the Lord coming with the thousands of heaven to judge the ungodly for their ungodly deeds, pursuing back to the book of Jude, man. Okay. But like I said, I'm not going to get that deep. Like I said, you, we can refer to 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter. And there's a myriad of other scriptures. The elder, uh, Yashawamba, he touched on it. You know, my elder, Bara, uh, GMS austere man, he touched on it. You know, there's just a myriad of other scriptures to come out to basically debunk this guy's heresy, man. He, he just, he doesn't have it, man. But hey, the scriptures are, are fulfilled. All right. I'm going to end it here. Hold on. Because two thirds. Hey, just because you know you're an Israelite don't mean you're not a two third. OK. There's a lot of false teachers out there. Even he shall be a prophet to this people. Uh. Damn, I'm trying to find it. Basically, it's like if a man walking in, uh, if a man do err <laughs> and be walking in folly, he shall be a prophet to these people, man. Uh, I can't find it. I'll, I'll find it another time, man. All right, but basically, if if a hey, if you see a nigga saying a bunch of folly. Concerning the Bible, so-called believing the Bible, knows he's an Israelite, but it's just off. Even he shall be a prophet to this people, man, because our people just, hey, the Lord has blinded them to the truth. Two thirds, that is. The majority of Israel is just not going to get it. They're not going to come to repentance. They're not going to come to the true doctrine. They're not going to walk in the light. They're not going to be reproved. All right. <laughs> they just going to know they Israelites continue to be niggas until they be destroyed, man. All right. But, hey, the elect is going to come out of this. So with that, I hope this was edifying. All praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakodash, Dawada, Damyatawab.